Okay, um, hey everybody. This is a bit awkward for me to record. Because I have to use an alternative setup, which is going back to using Audacity and trying to sync this recording with the gameplay. So, if you can guess what happened because I'm recording this way, the reason why my previous recordings didn't catch my microphone is apparently my microphone, my microphone died on me. Uh, it it was good while it lasted, so I put in an order for another one, but that won't be here till like Monday. That microphone will not be here till Monday or later at the time of this recording, and I'm honestly just like, I want to end this as soon as possible. So, I'm trying to, so hopefully. I mean, I'm praying. I'm praying that I can just finish this fight with little. I go with little to no distractions. So I'm gonna try and calibrate this here. And. Come on. Wow. Oh, this is so annoying. This is incredibly annoying. Because I can't pull... I'm try. This is why I couldn't use Audacity. This is why I couldn't use Audacity. So... The other thing was that my batteries died. If you actually pay attention to my YouTube, my batteries died in the middle of the Ganondorf fight. Uh, not Ganondorf, the Demise fight. So that wasn't fun. <laughs> oh. And honestly, everything about everything that I was just going through for this fight was just frustrating. Even at first, just not having any like, any... like, it was just gonna be sassy for me the entire time. So, hopefully this time around, the battle will actually go pretty well. I can't, I cannot give any guarantees. Ugh, I cannot give any guarantees. I want this to be over with, because I have things I need to do, and I want to move on to different games. <laughs> Like, I really want to move on to a different game. As you can see, it says skip there. I've died quite a number of times. The batteries died quite a number of times, so... I got, like, 16 batteries now. I can go... <laughs> like, we can go the distance. <clears throat> ah, so you fuck. So you decided to beat your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced valor, human. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. You mean we're in the last world from Kingdom Hearts 3? Okay, don't make that happen. The hate for the gods that has boiled in my veins. You're, you will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. So does the Mars have a name for his sword? Like, is it like the Anti-Master Sword? Or is it the Slave Sword or something? Because his has like the Triforce symbol on it. The only question left is how long will you manage to remain standing before I take your life? Try to keep it interesting for me. You do fall. Know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. When I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing that your friends and kin will soon follow, 
as I wipe all who oppose me from the face of this world! I can't do it. I, 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 there's so many voices that I got to wipe and they devised to have. Like, like, let him, give him the Anson voice from King Hearts book. It won't be long now. At last, the almighty power I've sought for the minute. I will take the Triforce for my own. And the world shall be under my foot for all eternity! So, here's the funny thing is that Fee actually gives you data on this, even though like this would be your first time fighting him. Fee actually gives you data. Target knocked. Damn eyes. This, this eternal being has conquered time itself. It is the source of all monsters. According to tales passed down through generations, it appears differently in each epoch and to each person who lays eyes on it. It is clear that Skyward Strikes cannot be called down from your sword because this place is under the magical influence of the mind. Attacks using Skyward Strike energy will not be possible here. This is all the information I have at the present time. When I have more information to report, Master, your sword will flash. You can always press down the keypad to call. Furthermore, when you require information about your equipment or your surroundings, please select Analysis. Integrity of your 
Nashville last weekend. We were Thank you, Finn. You took a horrible time. <laughs> Not again. Don't you know your super's unsafe on whiff? <laughs> I pick. Why did I use the dash move? After I whiffed my super. Oh, God. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I've ever known. Though this is not the end. My hate never perishes. It is born anew in a cycle with no end. I will rise again! Those like you, those who share the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero, 
They are eternally bound to this curse. <sighs> An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood soaked sea of darkness for all time. <laughs> oh, so you mean like just like Castlevania with the Belmont and Dracula? <laughs> Ooh, that, give Demise Dracula's, give Demise like Dracula's voice from Harmony and Despair. And you just absorb darkness into the sword. Isn't that a bad thing? I have confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword. And is now sealed away. Isn't that a bad thing? I mean, isn't there a way to just destroy it? And I was like, well, I guess it's not my problem. I don't, I don't have to worry about this for the next thousand, ten thousand years. <laughs> You have done well, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, it took multiple batteries and like 20 some odd dollars. Because <laughs> I had to fix my dang emotion plus <laughs> and my batteries. Brandon, thank you. I think it's over. Finally, it's all over. <laughs> yeah! Uh, look, would you. <laughs> nice going, you two. You guys were totally amazing in this little adventure. I like to call the Legend of Groose. <laughs> That's a little joke. <laughs> joke or not, your contribution to our efforts were heroic. You have my thanks. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, just glad I could make myself useful. I'm happy things turned out okay. Boy. Hey, so, things look pretty sewn up here. What do you say, guys? Ready to head back to our own time? <laughs> Granny was really worried about you, you two. We don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. <laughs> Hilia, your grace, or perhaps you prefer Zelda, it pleases me to know that you are safe. Master, I must speak with you. I have these feelings that I cannot express. I love you. Um, uh. Master Brandon, you have successfully protected the goddess, reborn, and defeated Demise, fulfilling your role as the hero of Legend. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as master and servant. Drive the sword into the pedestal before you, and I will return the sword to, return to, the sword to enter a sleep without end. <laughs> what? Master, you have achieved the purpose you were chosen to fulfill. Please set the sword in a pedestal and bring the goddess's mission to an end. Well, why can't I just go into the future and do that? Well, go into the present and do that. Now, Master, it is time to conclude our necessary companion companionship. Next time. just go into the present and do this and besides don't we need the master sword to open the gate
I mean, don't we need a Master Sword so we can go back to our own time in the present? So why don't we just go there, drive the Master Sword in there, and be done with it? I mean, it's not like anybody's going to pull it out. And I still have the sheet. Brandon. Brandon, hear me. My purpose was to obey the command of the goddess and lead you, the chosen hero of this land, on your quest. When I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have come to consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. <laughs> I love you. I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit. But now, at the end of the, my journey with you, as I prepare to sleep within the Master Sword forever, I experience a feeling... I am unable to identify. I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion, but I believe this feeling correlates closest to what you people call happiness. I guess. Our partnership is at an end, and even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. You share your tenders? Before I enter the sleep that calls me to the sword, I wish to relay you the words I recorded many times over the course of, of our journey. Oh my god, you suck at this game. Learn to play, you noob. <laughs> no. Many have said many have said them to you thus far, but now I wish to say them for myself. Thank you. Master Brandon. May we meet again. In another life. Okay. Um. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to beat demise <laughs> on the second. Uh, on the second, like, dive attack attempt. What? Impa, why? Come with us! Zelda, your grace. You possess memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I am a being of this age. My place is here. I... I know that, but... You must return to you must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. <laughs> I can't do that. You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Emma, come back with us. <laughs> Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I pass through the gate of time. I did so to protect you and aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The last remnants of the demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. Your spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. This is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess has chosen, goddess has chosen guardians. I will glad, I gladly welcome this to I hate I, 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 this is why I hate this whole destiny crap thing. Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grass for man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it mustn't it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again. Knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. These are the words of the, the goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. Do 
not despair, Zelda. You and I will surely meet again someday. Gave her a bracelet. It's like literally, that's pretty much like the only thing she has left besides her clothes. again I thought it was the end credits play then I put the then I put the master sword uh -huh. back was that a different game or is that a different Zelda oh <laughs> uh, yeah with her task done like she no longer needs to exist dang you couldn't like let the bracelet fade away with her too that's kind of cruel, you know. I was like, Impa, thank you. Impa, thank, you. thank you for everything. Live in, live in that solitary island in the sky. Now we can live down here. I still don't understand the Zelda continuity, but I guess this comes before to the past or something. I don't know. I like I I guess it would make sense that this would come before Link to the Past because Link to the Past, like the Master Sword, is in the forest. Uh, all right. Now that the end credits are running, I can finally lay my thoughts down on this game. And oh boy, here's the thing about this game. See, I believe I said it at the beginning where, and I said, and I felt like I was in for a bad time with this game. I truly felt I was in for a bad time for this game because. I've seen playthroughs of it. No one really talks about Skyward Sword. Like, no one really talks about Skyward Sword. Like, they'll say things like, oh, well, um, what's up? Like, what was another? Like, like, people will say, like, Wind Waker is a bad Zelda, which I'm like, how is Wind Waker a bad Zelda? Or they'll say, like, Spirit. They'll say things like Spirit Tracks, Wind Waker, um, any of the cute ones to be honest um Twilight Princess like I've heard Twilight Princess being bad in certain cases from some people I've heard people say Majora's Mask is bad heard people say that Zelda 2 is bad the NES Zelda 2 I've heard people say so many things Aside from the CDI Zeldas, say that they're that say that they're like, oh well, those are bad games. But 
no one really talked about Skyward Sword. It's like Skyward Sword was just like the one that you just forget existed. Um, I thought we got rid of all the monsters. Or is this Zelda's, or is this the past from Zelda's point of view? I guess that's what the case is. I guess that's the case. So, I've heard so many bad things. Honestly, I was, like I said, I was expecting to be in for a bad time. Even playthroughs I watched. I went like, this looks like this is a horrible time. For anybody. Is it? And so, I just went in like, okay, man, I guess I'll never play it. But then somebody gave me the money and said, hey, I want you to play this game. So I went ahead and did it. I played through it, and I'm just sitting here, I'm sitting there like rather skeptical, I'm sitting here rather skeptical, like, okay, this is going to be okay. I'm just going to suffer. Like, I'll just get, I'll get through it. I was like, I'll get through it. Don't worry. <laughs> and as, like, slowly as I, kept, as I proceeded through the game, I kind of, like, I started warming up to it. I'm like, oh, wait, okay, this isn't so bad. It's not that bad. It could be, like, this could be worse. And really, the only thing that was made, and really, like, everything that was making me, like, things that were, like, that made me mad about this game, all centered on the Wii Motion Plus, which I'll talk about that in a second. People talk about like, oh, this game, this this game is hand holding you because everybody repeats what you have to do all the time, and really it's just like me telling you like a thing that just happened. And honestly, I just accounted that to like, okay, well, the game is just making sure that you remember by using repetition. <laughs> and I was generally okay with that because that can happen. I mean. There are so many there are so many games out there, especially in terms of RPGs, where like you could just stop playing for a long time or like you just don't do something for for a long time. And essentially you forget that the game you like you forget like what exactly it is you're supposed to do. Like there's and there's nothing that really tells you what you need to do. Like okay, like what did I do? Like and you have to sit there and like run a trip down memory lane and be like, okay, like, did I do this? Did I do that? And, that's, and yeah, so I can I can give the whole repetition thing and fee basically treating you like you're an idiot a pass because it wasn't that bad. I'm not really fond of the I'm not really fond of the side quests that were in this game. I actually hated the side quests. Bug catching, the sword slicing, the dive mini game. I never tried the bow and arrow mini game, but I have a feeling that's horrible. The playing your heart mini game. Honestly, everything. Honestly, almost everything I would say that's bad about this game goes in line with the motion plus. Like everything that I would say is bad for this game goes with, like goes goes toe in toe with the motion plus, and. That's my thing, is that Wii Motion Plus is a horrible... It's just a horrible controller program. And they did that so, like, oh, well, now Link... Now you can have Link or what other game was it that used Wii Motion Plus? Red Dead Redemption? Now we can have those games run with... <laughs> like, use real motions. Use real sword swings and stuff. Like, now you have better... Like, you have more fluid controls. Not really. Honestly, not really. I mean, I guess you could say it's like the next thing to VR, but no, <laughs> it didn't. Really, it doesn't really work out. And one of the main issues is because you have to sit here and calibrate the darn thing over and over and over. You have to calibrate the whole thing over and over. You have to, and then there's essentially times where it will decent. There are times where the, like, the game desyncs and it's like, oh crap, it desyncs. Now I have to recalibrate it again 
And that's essentially what was killing my enjoyment for this game was the Wii Motion Plus deciding to make me well to desync my nunchuck and have Link run off to his death. And there was nothing I could do about it. Now I heard I did research on it and I heard people say like, oh it's it's because the batteries are dying in your Wiimote. Maybe that's true. And then there's people that say like, oh well it's because you bought the Wii Motion Plus attachment and not the Wii Motion Plus plus Wiimote. You know, the one with the Wii Motion Plus built in. So where's Bruce's bird? <laughs> where's Bruce's bird? <laughs> By the way. Everybody's coming down to the sea. Everybody's coming down to see us now. Anyway, Wii Motion Plus made things cool. Because you have to sit there and deal, like, just dealing with that. And it really shouldn't make a difference that, oh, because you have the Wii Motion Plus attachment or you have the Wii Remote Plus, the Wii Remote Plus, as they, I believe it's called, it should make a difference. The control peripheral is pretty horrible, and it honestly it gave me honestly it gives me PTSD when I think about other motion games, and it, heck, it makes me think like I have horrible like I'm having nightmarish thoughts about playing anything on a Nintendo Switch that uses the that uses the Joy Cons for motion controls. I'm like, okay, motion controls are just horrible. Oh, okay. Look around us. As a child, I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. <sighs> Dang it, Zelda. I'm trying to give my final thoughts for a game and you're talking. I... I think I want to live here. I always want to feel the solid ground beneath my feet. You felt solid ground beneath your feet in Skyloft. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> See the clouds above my head. And watch over the Triforce. Nah. What about you, Brandon? What will you do now? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh, ship with Zelda. <laughs> Oh, so we're just gonna leave our birds here. Why not bring all the people of Skyloft down? And like we can just build like we can build a town. Like we can work with the Kikwis and or whatnot, and like we can build a castle. Like build like a town and whatnot. Again. So yeah, like as I said, the Wii Motion Plus is just horrible. <laughs> like it's not a good thing. Innovative for its time, but it really soured my experience for this game. And it would be like, honestly, I would be like, okay, if this didn't have the Wii Motion Plus involved, I would be like, oh man, this game, like this game is awesome. I'm like, oh man, this game is awesome. <laughs> like, yo, like I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You can play the game in hero mode. I don't want to play in hero mode. But I'll just make a save data anyway. Your progress up to this point will be deleted. <laughs> That's why I have multiple saves. The other thing, I, I will give points for this game because, and this is because I've watched other people play through it. Play through this game. And here we have Hero Mode. And we can rename our we can rename our hero. But haha, I have a second save. So boo on you. <laughs> <clears throat> I will give this a plus. You don't need everything. You don't need any upgrades to beat this game. The upgrades don't. The upgrades I feel matter little in this game. Like the upgrades matter very little in this game to me. I mean, it's nice to have a bone arrow. It's nice that I have a bone arrow upgrade so I can kill. So I'm more insured to kill enemies, and I guess I have a longer range. 
but come on, a slingshot upgrade? Like a slingshot upgrade? Like, that just lets you shoot multiple pellets? Or the beetle upgrade that allows you to like have it move faster and fly for longer periods of time? What else is an upgrade? The shield upgrade is kind of decent. I think what else was able to be upgraded in the game? It was like shield, the bow and arrow, the beetle, the slingshot, the slingshot, um, the bug net. I guess the bug net was good. Did they have an upgrade? But really, it just felt like it really you didn't need those upgrades whatsoever. Like, there was no need for the upgrades. Honestly, I would say you could run this game without a shield. You could honestly run this game without a shield. It would be a lot tougher to deal with Demise, because you don't really have a way to block your strikes, and you'll just have to dodge. But, who cares? Like, you can do it. Like, it's very possible. I mean, the only thing the shield thing, the only thing the shield had for an advantage was that you could pro like you could probably get some extra strikes in from getting a successful carry. That's about it. But again, as I said before, the Wii Motion Plus soured my experience of this game. So, if I was to score this game. I'm looking at, I'm looking between, I'm looking at six and a half to seven. Six and a, six and a half to seven out of ten. Because the Wii Motion Plus ruined my experience that much. There were some days where I'm just willing to be, where I was saying like, okay, like this game is like a four out of ten. This game's like a 4 or 3 out of 10. Like, it plays, but the Wii Motion Plus is horrible. There were days where I was just like, met where I was ready to say that. But I just gripped my teeth and went through. And I will, like, I'll be fair, but like, 6.5. Six, six and a half to 7. Would I play through this again? Not very likely. Like, not like Because... <laughs> I don't want to. I, I don't want to deal with the Wii Motion Plus. I don't want to deal with batteries. I don't want to deal with batteries. I don't want to, like. I would rather play. Like, I'm not fond of the Wii Mote and having to like point at the screen and whatnot. It's hard. To, it's hard. Really, I would say it's hard to be comfortable playing Wii games. Well, playing most Wii games. Anyway, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed Skyward Sword. I hope you guys enjoyed Skyward Sword as much as I did. I know this playthrough didn't get that many views. Like, I know this playthrough didn't get that many views, but... Someone paid for it, and I stick to my commitments. At least in this case. Because <laughs> I know there's a couple others, I'm just like... I'll finish that someday. Although I'm not exactly committed on those anyway. But yeah, like this game, I'm just like. I'll finish it. I was like, I was committed to it. I'll finish it. I'll bear through it. And there we go. Now. I don't know what game is going to come after this. I haven't, I haven't really given much thought to it as of yet. There's a huge... There's, like, a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm figuring things out as to what to do. Well, well, it's like, I'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But anyway, I hope the people that that do watch this playthrough enjoyed everything about it. Or if you have complaints, whatever, like, make them. This playthrough's over. Next weekend, we'll have something different. I am Brad Reed Gaming Mall. See you guys next time.